in leadership at Harvard University. Let's move on now and talk about his music. His musical style, I beg your pardon, let me take you back one quick slide. His musical style is known as Afrobeats. It's all about poverty and social justice. His nickname is Ghetto President, and this is a little bit because of where he grew up. But one of his songs, and that's what I want to take you to at this moment, caused quite an uproar back in 2016. This song, by the name Dembe, which means freedom, um, he alleges that it was banned by the government. Of course, there was no confirmation by the government, but it definitely raised uh, a lot of discussion because it spoke about freedom, and some felt it was a discussion around changing the status quo of politics in the country. That was in 2016. In 2017, he underwent a metamorphosis, and that's what I want to show you at this moment. Uh, let me take you back there. So this is the man we knew before 2016, Bobby Wine, the musician. And this is the man who rebranded himself in 2017, shaved the dreadlocks, put on the smart suits, decided to get into politics, vied for the Chadondo East seat in central Uganda. He took it and he immediately became known as a critical opposition figure right, right around the discussions around presidential amendments in terms of the limits. Uh, he was against it. Of course, the parliament passed it. But that's when people really began to pay attention to this man away from his music. Okay, let's take a look at why we've been talking about him since the 13th of this month. He was detained in Arua while campaigning. The authorities say that he, together with other opposition lawmakers, uh, led an attack which led to the stoning of the president's convoy. His driver was later shot dead. And of course, the ruling party went on to lose the seat in this particular by-election. It was taken by an opposition candidate there. That's Cassiano Wadri. And the authorities say that they found wep um, weapons and ammunition in his room. But he's not the first opposition lawmaker to be detained. He's not the first one to be taken to court. Why is his case so special? Why has his case drawn so much global attention? It could be because of Uganda's current demographics. And that's what I want to take you to at this moment. It is said that in this country of Uganda, more than three quarters of the population is under the age of 30. And possibly Bobby Wine uh, seems to speak or represents these young people. He has been described as a person with a magnetic presence, a skilled orator who, when he speaks, really draws the crowds. Uh, some also say that he's a potential kingmaker. In the last three by-elections, over the last one year, the candidates that he backed actually won. All right. Let's learn a bit.